you want to have nice clothes, a nice car, you want to have a nice house, you want to have nice things, you're in a good spot in your life and you want to signal to the whole world and let everyone know that you're doing very well for yourself. If your entire existence is based off of how other people perceive you and how you feel about how other people think of you. That's a very shallow life and it's probably not gonna bring you a lot of joy because really if you set yourself up that way, the only thing that's gonna bring you joy is more material things and having a bigger house and a nicer car and better clothes and more money. While everybody wants those things, if your only reason to have those things is to make other people jealous or make yourself feel better about yourself because you have this void that you need to fill in your life by having possessions and material things in order to show how successful you are and to make yourself feel like you've accomplished a lot of things. It sounds pretty depressing if you really think about it and it's probably not a life that you want to live and that's what happens when you really get wrapped up and worried about what other people think about you and worry so much about pleasing other people and sometimes it takes a lot of time to get over a lot of our own insecurities and our own doubts and a lot of the things that bother us about ourselves and these things are things that we see a lot more but we believe that other people see them as much as we do but the truth is is that most other people are so worried about their own insecurities and how other people think about them that they're too busy to really worry about you we focus on every little thing that we don't like about ourselves it's it's natural it's normal and I'm guilty of this myself if I were to sit here and tell you that I didn't have any insecurities and I let go of all that stuff long ago and I stopped caring about what people thought about me, I would be full of shit and I'd be lying to you because the truth is, is that I do care what people think about me. I think most people do care a little bit what other people think about them. For instance, I always shave my head almost every time before a video. There may be a few videos that I have that I'm not freshly shaven and the truth is I do that because I have a lot of gray hair and I'm going bald and I don't like having my stubble because I feel like it makes me look balder than I actually am and when the gray hair starts coming out it makes me feel like I look older than I actually am and I don't want to look that old on camera so I try to always be freshly shaven. I also try to wear dark colors because I've gotten out of shape over the last year since coronavirus happened and I gained about 20 pounds and I'm trying to hide that in my videos and I don't want people seeing that I'm getting a little chunky and I've, I've put on some some weight over the last year. I've always struggled with my weight and and I am still embarrassed to take off my shirt in public. You know, even when I was in the best shape of my life a few years ago, I still didn't like taking off my shirt in public because I always worried about what other people thought about me. And you know, these are all insecurities of my own. I'm working on it. And I guess that's why I wanted to make this video is because I think everyone should work on it a little bit. So I'm just not gonna sit here and tell you to just stop caring altogether because it's not realistic. It's not the way it is. I've seen YouTubers who talk about stuff like this and they always try to tell you that, that oh, you know, just stop caring and their lives changed when they stopped caring what people thought about them and, and how, you know, that's like the best thing that you can do and it's, it's probably true. It's probably very beneficial for you to not care so much what other people think about you but the truth is it's not easy to stop doing it. Everybody's running around worried about what other people think about them. They're so worried about their own lives and their own problems and all the things that they have going on that they don't have time to worry about the next person. But as an individual, we still all feel like everyone is paying close attention to us and to how we look and how we act and how much money we have and whatnot that we feel like we need to signal and let people know that we're better off than we are. And it's honestly kind of weird because a lot of it is just to make ourselves feel better about ourselves, but at the same time, it's our insecurities that are making us trying to feel better about ourselves and letting go of our own insecurities would make us feel better about ourselves, but we actually try to cover up our insecurities with the things that we feel like we need in order to feel better about ourselves when really the insecurity itself is causing all the problems and if we just let that go then we wouldn't feel the need to you know supplement our lives with all these external things that we think we need to look better or feel better or be happier and really happiness is a lot closer than you think you just got to look for it and if you're always so worried about what other people think about you you're going to have a hard time finding your own happiness because you'll be focused on other people's thoughts of you rather than what you should be doing to improve your life and make yourself happier and finding the things that you need to 
you know, move forward in life and feel better and have a better life and not have so many insecurities. All right, I guess that's my, um, you know, self-help and self-improvement talk of the day. If you found this helpful, if you feel like it benefited you in any way, make sure you hit that like button, drop a comment down below and let me know what some of your insecurities are and how you deal with them. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.